Today, I'll be creating two brothers that will rival each other in the NBA. Meet the Thomas brothers. Josh Thomas is a 6'5 point guard that has the passing ability of Magic Johnson and the shooting of Steph Curry. Drew Thomas is a 6'6 shooting guard, and he's an athletic freak and a lockdown defender. We'll be putting these brothers in the 2012 NBA draft and playing their entire careers. So choose your player right now. Who do you think will have the better career, Josh or Drew? And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's hit a thousand likes so we can do more videos like these. Okay, so it's actually the 2011 NBA draft, not 2012. I lied to y'all a minute ago. Uh, but draft lottery time, the first overall pick is the Minnesota Timberwolves, then the Phoenix Suns, and the Charlotte Bobcats, oh my god. Yeah, well, the 2011 draft class is pretty stacked. We have the Thomas brothers, Kawhi Leonard, Kyrie Irving, Mark Westfall, legend, Klay Thompson, Kemba Walker, you know, and then also Jimmy Butler. So it's a really good draft class, so we'll see if we end up going first or not. With the first overall pick, the Timberwolves select Josh Thomas. Okay, so the point guard. I think they had Kevin Love at the time, so I think Josh and Kevin Love is gonna be a great duo. Now the Phoenix Suns are gonna select Drew Thomas. So the first time ever, brothers going back back to back in the draft. No, I lied, the Thompson Twins did it back in the day uh, a couple years ago, so that's what's up. And then we have, is it Kyrie Irving? Oh no, the Timberwolves trade for the third overall pick and they're gonna select Kyrie. So it's gonna be Josh Thomas and Kyrie Irving sharing the backcourt, that's kind of stupid. We should have had Klay Thompson, that's really dumb. Kawhi goes to the Kings, the Raptors select Benjamin Edwards, I think he did play in real life. I don't want to get it incorrect once again, but I'm pretty sure Benjamin Edwards was an NBA player. And the next pick is going to be the Blazers with Norm Sweetney. That doesn't sound familiar. Does not ring a bell. The Jazz select Klay Thompson and the Warriors are going to select Mark Westfall. He had a great career in real life. And my Pistons get Nikola Vucevic which means the Cavaliers select Jimmy Butler. So the Minnesota Timberwolves have Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, and it looks like, oh, oh. So the trade was that they traded their first overall pick to who? So the Wolves did Josh dirty, bro. To start his career, the first overall pick is traded to Charlotte to team up with Gerald Wallace, Steven Jackson, who to me is like the same person, honestly, same player, different font. Actually, even, even the same font, that identical. We got Tyrus Thomas, we have Shannon Brown, this roster is garbage. On the other hand, the Phoenix Suns have Steve Nash, who's about to retire. We got Drew, and then DeAndre Jordan, Jason Richardson. So the thing is, both brothers can be the star players of their team, you know, right away. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, his team's garbage. Now, a deeper look at Drew, I made him a score. So he's not really going to pass the ball. He's going to be athletic, 90 driving dunk, decent shooting, nothing too great. But on defense, he's going to have a pretty solid defense, 82 perimeter, 80 steal. But then for Josh, his focus is more so on the shooting and passing. Passing, you know, he's gonna be a good point guard, good pass accuracy and ball handling, and his defense isn't the best. So we'll see who will have the best career. Now, my guess is it's gonna be Drew, just because Drew's a score, he's gonna probably create more opportunities to be a better player and win MVPs. But at the same time, we can't count out Josh because he's a team player, and if the one star player comes to Charlotte, we're gonna be good. Now, the first game of the season for Josh, he ends up, they end up winning, he drops 16 points. 10 rebounds and five assists. He is a tall point guard standing at 6'5". And the Suns end up beating the Mavericks by six points where Drew had 31 points. Rookie debut, dropping 31. That has to be a record, bro, honestly. I made their tendencies very similar, so there's no big discrepancy. So I'm gonna simulate this rookie season and see who wins rookie of the year. And ideally, ideally, the goal is they match up against each other um, in the NBA Finals, East versus West. Hey, so the way it's looking, the Suns have a really good record, 51 and 29, and the Bobcats finished 48 and 33. So they both made both teams better. So the brothers are doing their thing in the league. Who wins MVP? LeBron James, of course. And rookie of the year goes to Drew. Like I predicted, 24 points, eight rebounds, four assists, and two steals on some pretty decent, uh, you know, shooting averages. Now, actually, three point could be better. Sixth man of the year goes to Goran the Moron. He's on Drew's team because we have Steve Nash as starting point guard. So that means, you know, he's going to be solid for sure. And most improved is also Goran. So yeah, good, good season for them for sure. Bro, Drew even gets All-NBA second team as a rookie. That's how you know things are going well. And Josh Smith, mmm, I don't like Josh Smith. After what he did in my Pistons, bro, you know, I haven't seen him in a sim in a minute, honestly. But for all rookie first team, both brothers make it. Josh Thomas, what did he average in his rookie season? 15 points, six rebounds, and about seven assists per game. We got a lot of turnovers. 
Honestly, a pretty realistic rookie season for a point guard, I, I can't complain. And my boy Mark Westfall, 11 and 11. I think in real life he averaged a bit more, but that's, that's still solid. Now the Suns finished as the second seed and the Bobcats finished as the fifth seed. So that means the East is kind of stacked right now. The Thunder had the best record in the league. Our team is kind of old. Actually, it's, it's not, our best players are older, but then we have a lot of young players that I don't think would really pan out. This dude, Ganey LaWall, no way it's a real person, right? Clifford Jacobson looks like Steve Harvey. I know he's not a real person. And then Solomon Jones, yeah, all bots here. And don't even try in the comments this time, bro. You know, I, I know ball for sure. Round one, what do we have going on? We have the Suns up 2-1 and it's 2-2 on the East. So it's 2-2 for both brothers. Let's see, I, and I just realized both of the colorways is uh, purple and orange. So that's kind of cool, you know? And they're both leading 3-2. Okay, moment of truth. We are gonna be in a game seven, but my boy Josh, he won. He ended up with 17 and 11, Steven Jackson with 25. Now we gotta take on, I think it's uh, Carmelo Anthony and the Denver Nuggets back then. Mm, yeah, him and Chauncey Billups. And Yao Ming, what? I low-key want to start doing videos where I just player lock the person that I'm controlling. Uh, I feel like that'd be fire, but let me know if you want to see that or not. It is a 15 point game. Yeah, we end up losing. Dang it, lost by five. We just didn't really cook up at all. And Carmelo had 38, so nothing you can do about that. That means our focus will be uh, shifted towards the Charlotte Bobcats. We're up against LeBron in the heat. There's probably no chance we're gonna beat the big three. And they got Shaquille O'Neal, that's disgusting. Even though he's cooked, but still. Who the hell is Jonathan Snow? 24 and 15, never heard it bro in my life. This man, Josh, he only got seven minutes. What? He averaged 30 minutes per game in the regular season, but he got seven minutes here, which can only mean one thing. My dog is injured, man. Sprained right knee for one to two weeks. What a bum, I would've came back in a day. That's probably gonna cost us the series. Yeah, 3-0 and wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, we're cooked. It's gonna be the Thunder going all the way in 2012, just like in real life. Now the Suns, we lose Steve Nash, which is a big blow to the roster. Uh, that means Goron's gonna be starting. That means more opportunity for Drew to, you know, be MVP, I guess. The draft lottery, I don't think we're gonna have a good pick. Um, yeah, yeah, we don't. But it's gonna be Kelvin Lynch going first overall. I don't remember him playing in the league, honestly. I do remember Wesley Cook, but I don't remember Kelvin Lynch, so. Yes, I hate when the bots go first overall. It's kind of annoying. Year number two, Josh is up to an 88 overall. And I just realized there's two Thomases and they're not brothers. So there's a lot of, I guess Thomas is a common last name, bro. If your name is Thomas, comment down below. If you know Thomas, the only Thomas I know is the train back in when I was like seven. And then for the Suns, Drew's an 89 overall. So about the same overall here. And honestly, the teams are, I would say kind of even. The Suns have a smaller edge, but they both have one year left on their deal. One year, five million. So we'll see if they end up re-signing or not. Year number two, Bobcats have 48 wins and the Suns have 58. So that's kind of crazy how good the Suns are with that roster. It's gonna be Russell Westbrook winning MVP this early is really wild because Westbrook's a 95 overall, I guess, yeah. Damn, usually he wins like in 2016. In real life, he won it in 2017. Um, Anthony Davis is a Clipper, Rookie of the Year. Draymond Green is sixth man on the Celtics. That is an ugly number and jersey combination with the undershirt, no, no aura at all. Dwight Howard, defensive player again. And then who? Most improved who? Bro, okay. Alec Burks, I guess, okay, who's that? Damn, Thunder went 74 and eight though. Scott Brooks cooked up. Man, Derrick Rose is out with the high ankle sprain. And Drew Thomas is all NBA second team. He averaged 28 points, nine boards and five assists, having a really good season. We will win an MVP with them. We wanna see who can win more championships. So Bobcats finished fifth again and the Suns are second again. Deja vu basically. My boy Josh this season, he averaged 19 and seven assists. I want him to progress and be a double-double type of player. It would have been great if he was with the Timberwolves. Are they in the playoffs? The Timberwolves are the four seed. Cause you got, bro, Kevin Love. He's a double-double machine. Look at that, 14 boards, 17 boards once upon a time. Is that even, is that real life? Did he actually average 17 rebounds in his career? It's insane. I mean, him and Kyrie play together in, in Cleveland, but imagine it was just them two and Andre Drummond. So let's do this again, man. Can we end up both advancing in the playoffs? It's looking like the Bobcats will. 3-2, and we're going to a game seven. Bobcats advanced. I mean, Kobe had 36, so he's still in his prime, it looks like. Yeah, 95 overall, no injury uh, happened to him this year, and we had 24 and five steals. We need a big game here. And we got ourselves a close one, a back and forth game. We're up by 13, we got 24 points, 
Pogasol has 30. Damn, let me hop in. I'm actually a huge fan of this Suns court. This OG court brings back so many memories. Um, good steal right there by Josh Childress. All right, I want to see Drew Cook. He's Yeah, that's him right there in the paint. I don't know who's guarding him. Dude's tiny. Fade away. What? That is not your game, but you are not Jordan. Oh, that's Jaden Ivey. No, 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 no. This is 2013. It can't be Jaden Ivey. It's probably his father. Let me see. Royal Ivey. Yeah, that's his father. Go Lamar Odom. Pre-crack. Oh, good move. Ain't no way. That's a good, good defensive possession right there. Gerald Wallace to Jason Richardson. Come on, man. Dunk on his head top. Kick out to Drew. Kick out to Gerald Wallace. Look at the ball movement. I like it. Yes, sir. We got Drew. Kobe guarding Drew. This is a huge moment for him. Will he score? That's a crazy shot. Hey, Lita goes in. Let's go. <laughs> what the heck? If I hit a shot like that against Kobe, bro, I would not stop talking about it. That's a guaranteed win. Yeah, we won by 20 points. Huge. A dagger on Kobe's head is like plus 1 million aura. So we're up against the Grizzlies now. They got Mike Conley, Marcus All, Gay Boy, Sean Livingston, Damari Carroll, who, yeah, he played with the Raptors back in the day, and the Hawks. Ball knowledge runs deep over here on this channel. And then we got uh, Thomas Howard. He played for the Grizzlies too back in the day. So I'm only gonna hop in if it's like a game seven. So that way it's fair for both brothers. I'm not favoring one over the other. But it looks like uh, Josh has things going pretty good in Charlotte. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're down 3-0 over here. Let me hop in and make sure nothing, uh, we don't get swept. Okay, looks like we have this one in the bag. Yeah, we end up winning this one. Drew had 34. Going 11 for 28 is diabolical. He's not even a shooter. And the Bobcats sweep, which is insane. This man, Josh Thomas. This man, Josh, had 30, 11, and 17. Probably the best performance of all time. And then DJ Augustine, the backup point guard, had 30. All right, let's sim this game. We are 3-2. <sighs> We lost in six, all right. I mean, we had 35 points, we gave it our all. It's just this team cannot contribute. Our bench is horrible. And the Thunder are probably gonna sweep them anyway. It's gonna be the Heat against Josh now. So let's take it game by game. Oh, we got it, 2-0. 3-0, ain't no way. Ah, they might come back. Ah, it's a close game. Up by seven, let's hop in, man. This man, Josh, off the inbound. We got, is that Dwayne Wade guarding him? I mean, Dwayne Wade's a good defender. DJ Augustine reminds me of Drake. Steven Jackson getting clamped by LeBron. Yeah, bro, you got no answer. Augustine attacking. Oh my God, this is horrible. LeBron James, full head of steam. He's gonna easily lay that up. Kick out to Josh. All right, Josh, what you got? Iso on Dwayne Wade. Oh, good attack and almost an M1. It's a good crossover though. This dude, LeBron is just toying with Steven Jackson, honestly. You gotta get your lit back, Steven. Use a screen by, uh, is that Tyrus Thomas, I believe? Look at the ball knowledge. Steven Jackson with the shot. That's an ugly form, goodness. We got Gerald Henderson giving to Brown, a wide open three, and all of a sudden it's a two point game with two minutes left. We got Shannon Brown, the high flyer. This dude has one of the best blocks in NBA history to Josh Thomas for three. Let's go, baby. Once again, Josh attacking Henderson. You gotta throw something up. Ah, nah, Steven Jackson contested on Braun and it goes out. Good rebound though by uh, our center. Don't know who that is. Five point game. Braun, the clutch allegations. He's, a, he's gonna beat him. I have a feeling we're gonna lose this game. Tyrus Thomas, what you got, man? Five seconds, giving it back to Josh. Josh contested by Bosch and he misses in and out. Three point game with 30 seconds left. Who takes the last shot? Where's Ray Allen at? I thought Ray Allen was on the team back in 2013. Maybe I'm bugging. Gerald Henderson though, giving it to Braun in the paint. He's gonna fade away and miss it. Okay, time for free throws. And assuming all goes well, I'm just gonna go slow here. And we end up winning by four points and we get to advance. So brother Josh goes first to the finals before Drew and beat me up against the Thunder seems like, yeah, good luck. A healthy Thunder squad with Zach Randolph. They always get Zach Randolph in these Sims. I'm not sure why, but him, Serge Ibaka, disgusting, disgusting work, man. We're probably gonna be cooked. We're, if we win a game, I'll be shocked, man. 2-0, <laughs> 3-0, and swept. Okay, I mean, we just gotta wait for the contract to expire because that's our only chance. But we have one finals appearance, we can add to the resume. Oh okay, yeah, Ray Allen retired kind of early with the Celtics. And what do you know? Giannis ends up with the Bucks in the first overall pick, and Rudy uh, Gobert also finishes, or also gets drafted to the Jazz, so that's realistic. Year number three, they both sign one-year deals. So yeah, moment of truth, if they don't get any extra talent, like, they should leave. Do I start doing trades? Do you guys think I'm interfering too much when I do trades? Because in the family, rival family videos, y'all said I interfered too much for the black family and that I was being racist towards the, the white one and not helping them. And to be honest, it might've been inherently uh, true, but look, I'm gonna try to just help both brothers out. This man, Gerald Wallace is 31 years old. I mean, 
Let's see what we can get for him. I'm gonna change this channel to a full rebuild channel. Yo, Hiru Turklu is 66 overall. What was the point of this trade? What are the Lakers smoking? They're smoking that Lamar Odom stuff. I don't know, man, it's crazy. Chauncey Billups, no. Man, never mind. I don't want any of these players. Forget it. Yo, low key, I just realized that Gerald Wallace, he went from the podcast to team up with uh, Drew. I just realized that. So he went from one brother to the other, which means the Bobcats, their team sucks, man. Literally, we, we suck. We lost Steven Jackson too. Oh, low key, we could do a genius trade for the Bobcats. Get rid of Tyrus Thomas, right? Uh, and then he, we get Zach Randolph making the Thunder weaker, which to help his brother advance to the finals, which means they can match up. I'm gonna do this trade. I think it's actually a good idea. And I hope both, both brothers leave their teams after this year. It'd be stupid if they stay. Bro. Oh my God, Josh Thomas out of nowhere wins MVP. I thought it was gonna be Drew first for sure. He proved everyone wrong, bro. 26, nine and nine. If you're team Josh, bro, this is a huge, huge thing for y'all, man. You guys have a head start, a finals appearance, an MVP. Wow, 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 wow. Giannis wins rookie of the year. My boy Kelvin, sixth man of the year. And most improved is uh, Bobby Shmurda. Dude, that's so crazy because Drew is all NBA third team and he averaged 27, nine and six. But I, I guess the Bobcats had a better record. Yeah, Bobcats finished second. No, 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 Bobcats finished second. The Suns finished first, what? 66 wins for the Suns and 57 for the Bobcats. I don't know how this happened, but trading for Zach Randolph made the Thunder weaker. And yeah, that was actually a W move because it helped, you know, Josh become MVP. This man was averaging 15 and 10. This worked out really good. So let's see if they can match up against each other in the finals now. Round one, we both win it. Round two, we both win it, and we are one series away from the brothers matching up. This will be the toughest one against the OKC Thunder. How are the Suns doing this? 3-1, wait a minute, don't tell me we're gonna win. We are up four, we won 4-1. This man, Drew, had 41 points in the closeout game. It, I don't know how he did it, honestly. But the issue is the Bobcats are down 3-2 to the Pacers. We cannot let Rodney Stuckey out of all people in our way okay 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 we end up crushing him this game by 30 points oh my god yo josh had a crazy triple double 40 10 and 10 not even i know james harden stuff where he's taking 30 free throws now nah, this is probably one of the most impressive triple doubles of all time bro unreal we're going to a game seven man game seven and we are absolutely crushing this team dog i never seen a blowout this bad before 129 to 81 and that man josh had 31 10 7 and three steals everyone cooked up even marquis morris bro bro had 29 points randolph had 25 and now the brothers get to play each other in the finals for the first time in their third NBA season. I would have never thought it would happen this quick, man. The Suns and Bobcats, probably the least selling, least hyped finals ever, but it's the brothers that are, that's, that's the storyline that's selling the tickets here. Game number one, it's gonna be the Bobcats. That man Drew had 26, it was a blowout game, man. Only 89 points, his team did not come to play at all. Uh, and then 18 boards for a point guard is disgusting work right there by Josh, goodness. Okay, game number two, it's gonna be Drew winning it. That man had 29, Josh had 39. Damn, Josh is low-key way better than Drew right now. This is crazy. 2-1, okay, 40 points by Drew. They're literally going tit for tat right now. And game four, the series is tied 2-2. Okay, every game moving forward, I'll be hopping in. So Drew's team is up by seven points, and I don't, I don't think that, yeah, they don't match up against each other because one's a point guard, one's a shooting guard. Drew catch and shoot for three, and he misses it. Is that Jermaine O'Neal on the court? That is Jermaine O'Neal in 2015, I think, right? It's 2014, actually. Bro, he was, he's washed at this point. What is he doing? Hand off to this dude in the paint. Mark Weef, he's going to do a post hook and miss it. Drew in the corner. He's going to take him. Yeah, with the crosses. Loki getting clamped. He's still going to go up and make the smothered layup. Got Lamar Odom with the rock now. 43 is an ugly looking number on a basketball jersey. Oh my God, that's just a disgusting number. And one, let's go, baby. Oh yeah, Drew, catch and shoot, baby. You gotta hit that, yes sir. Oh yeah, we got a game, man. Let's go, Josh. Fight back, Josh. Let's go, Josh, pulling up. Oh, he missed it, damn it. Drew's gonna use that good screen. I want you to dunk on him. Where's the foul at, ref? Come on, man, I wanna see, a, uh, I never see contact dunks when I hop into Sims, bro. This dude, Josh, he has a quick trigger. He could shoot from anywhere, but right now he is, he's doing, he's not making any. Oh yeah, you got Gerald Wallace in the paint. Gerald Wallace, kick out in the corner. Oh, you had man open. Good lay though. 
Damn, you got 38 points. This man Drew's cooking this team. Nine points is still a manageable comeback. Good lay off that screen. Off that screen. You should have gave it to him earlier. Drew, what you got? Take him. I don't know who's even guarding him, but Loki's putting a body up. It don't matter. Oh, we get blocked outside right for three. And that's got to be game, bro. The price is right. 12-point game. That should be game. And they end up winning. Look at that, 14 to 32 compared to 13 to 25. These brothers are cooking up. And now it's game six. Can the Suns seal the deal? The way it's looking, bro. The way it's starting off, the Suns are low-key whooping them. Can the Bobcats come back? Oh no, yo, I think it's over. It is over. The Suns win it with a 24 point performance from Josh and a 22 point performance from Drew. But he's gotta win MVP and he does. Averaging 30 points in the finals. So Josh won MVP this year and his brother won a championship in finals MVP. So basically it's, it's neck and neck right now. And Jermaine O'Neal packed it up. There we go. Pistons are some idiots, man. The first overall pick and you choose Zach Levine. Joel Embiid is the only right choice and then Nikola Jokic, but like really? I like Zach Levine, but really bro? Year number four, both brothers are 95 overalls and they signed back for one more year. So my guess is if they don't you know, go all the way, they're gonna leave. Uh, so the Bobcats, they got Mike Bridges. I think he's the cousin of Miles. And then J.R. Smith. It's a good team. You know, J.R. Smith, Miles Bridges, and Karan Butler and Gilbert Arenas, all former criminals, I think. Actually, no, they're not. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I cut that out, Dula. I, only, it's only, uh, not even Gilbert. Honestly, none of them are criminals. I'm sorry. That was dumb. And then this whole, the Suns team is just literally no aura besides this dude, Drew. Literally, they're all like... Just like lame, you know? By the way, Derrick Rose is now the best player in the league. And we're in the top six, basically. We're tied. So you'd love to see it. Will they go back to back MVPs? Yes, Drew Thomas is MVP. So both brothers won an MVP. This is great. This simulation is going amazing, by the way. Wow, I didn't think it would go this well. Hey, if you aren't subscribed and dropped a like, I don't know what you're doing. Because imagine more videos like this all the time. These are the most fun to make. Bro, 33 points, 11 boards. Wow, man. Jokic wins rookie of the year in Philly. And uh, Tobias Harris, he, uh, that's my guy, that's my guy. Well, Drew's on NBA first team and Josh is on NBA second team. He kind of declined a bit in points, but it's all good because we are the second seed and the Hornets now are the first. I'm literally gonna keep simming and soul. We are in the, actually, wait, 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 let me slow down, let me slow down. <laughs> Game seven against Utah. They got Darren Williams, Clay Thompson, Gordon Hayward. Yo, white, 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 uh, you know, Rudy Gobert you know, white. I mean, he's French, baguette. And, and the thing is too, like Phoenix and Utah, it's like a one hour drive, according to my calculations. So there really isn't much traveling here, which means we're gonna be fresh. 50 points, 50 points, 50 points by Drew, bro. Yo, that's gotta be a career high, is it? Yeah, it's his career high. He never had a game with 50 before. That's insane. He did it in the most important one of the season. My boy. All right, can we beat the Pelicans? Who do they even have? <laughs> it's an easy one. Uh, the Bulls though, Derrick Rose. Uh oh, no! Shoot! Oh, they got, they got, uh, that got Zach Murray. Not sure who he is. I guess he's a Mason, but yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's tough. That's tough. Doesn't help when Mark Queef goes four for 12, but it is what it is. Can the Suns get to the finals against this Thunder team? Yo, 2 1, 2 2, 3 2, please, game seven. No, you hate to see it, bro. What happened? Were we, uh, we only had 16 points and the big three are still together. They gotta leave after this year. It's gonna end up being the Thunder going all the way. And they both did it. They both stayed with their teams. They signed identical contracts, three years, 66.15 million. That is so much money, but then even after taxes, that's still so much money. And you gotta pay your agent fee and stuff. Um, but goodness, man, will good players come to these teams? I feel like this Hornets team is good on paper. I don't know what's missing. Maybe a small forward. And then for the Suns, we're just missing a point guard. Like our best point guard is uh, Lenny Poole, who's a bot, obviously, and Delon Wright, another bot. We need a real player, a, a real point guard. I mean, we do have Spencer Dinwiddie. That's actually, he could become something good. Uh, it's just the thing is, right now, I, I need something better. I think I saw a good trade earlier, hold on. We can trade Emeka Okafor and Damian Ingram, who both are averaging 16 points combined for two decent point guards. It may look stupid to you. I, we need the point guards, bro. We need a good point guard, and I think it's gonna be the right trade here. They're taking turns, bro. Now it's Josh with his second MVP. You love to see it, man. Uh, anything else? Oh, whoa, whoa, 64 and 18. We finished with the best record, it looks like. Drew's back here. He averaged 29 and 10. Okay, he put up MVP-like numbers, 
but the Suns are down to the sixth seed and the Hornets are the first. Yo, maybe that trade was bad. Maybe I'm an idiot. No, I mean, 12 points. DeAndre Jordan, he didn't really score much. Ah, this team isn't good, bro. We gotta trade Drew, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta find a new home for him. That contract gotta be voided somehow. Uh, the Hornets are going all the way, it looks like. They could beat Chicago. Yup, it's the Hornets and Kings. How did the Kings beat the Thunder? I don't know. They have Tyreek Evans, Kawhi, Demarcus Cousins. Okay, that makes sense. Bro, I think Josh could, can go ahead and do it. 2-2, two, 3-2, two, two, and we're going to a game seven. Look, we don't have a championship ring for Josh. We don't have that. Drew has the championship and the MVP. Josh just has two MVPs. Down by seven with a minute left. I'm gonna hop in. All it takes is one three-pointer. We're back at it. Kawhi's gonna attack. Good defense right there. No way. Dang it. Come on, Josh. Get a quick bucket. ASAP floater. Yes. DeMarcus Cousins back down post hook. This guy's cooking us. Goodness. Need a quick bucket again, Josh. Give me that layup. Ah. No, bro. We don't have time. Oh. Oh. Good defense. Good attempt. Good attempt. Seven points, 50 seconds. If they score here, it might be over. We don't have to foul just yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Illegal screen. Illegal screen. Illegal screen. Illegal screen. Yes. Illegal screen. Oh, what? Is a foul on us? Andrea Blache, bro. This dude really flopped and got a foul call for him. That's some BS, honestly. That's tough. I think that right there costs us the championship. Yeah, we ended up losing by 12. You hate to see it, man. So still, no ring for that man, Josh. But to be honest, the way it's looking, bro, his team is going to have a lot more attempts than Drew, at least for the time being. Let me take that back, bro, because the Hornets this year, 52-28. The Suns looking horrible. Dang, bro. It might be a rough period for both these brothers for the next few years, and Durant ends up taking MVP from both of us. For some reason, I've never seen both of the brothers be all NBA first team. It's either one or the other. Yeah, it's tough to see. Ah, man, torn left ACL for Derrick Rose. He's out for a minute, and then broken right kneecap. Six to eight weeks is definitely an overstatement, but okay. Hornets still the first seed, though. I, I guess the East is that weak. That's pretty surprising. And the Suns are the seventh seed. Hey, bro, I just want to get that first ring for Josh. And it's looking like the Suns are out. We are headed to the finals against, okay, the Kings. A chance for a rematch. I think we can we can take them this time. We figured them out. Yeah, 2-0. Come on, man. 2-1. We are going to win our first ring with Josh. He wins the MVP. So now looking at his accolades, we are at one championship and two MVPs for Josh and one championship and one MVP for Drew. You won't believe who came to the team, bro. The Suns got blessed with Steph Curry coming to the team in his prime in his peak years i don't understand why he did this honestly we got spencer dinwiddie still um a lot of guards i don't see any centers on this roster yeah like actually none okay we got this dude zach knight we're gonna trade for a better center meanwhile the hornets that got andre iguodala on the team in javel mcgee they actually have a good roster over here so let me see if i can get a center for dj augustine and norman powell is not a small forward bro he's six foot four he's a he's a point guard or a shooting guard we can get tristan thompson which actually is not a bad idea i'll take tristan thompson for dj and norman powell because we lost deandre jordan uh and deandre was a good piece for us this roster looks respectable i don't know who dante cunningham is or javante i don't know javante green keith gilmore yeah i know him Okay, this team is definitely a championship roster. Yeah, bro. Uh, well, we had 64 wins and Steph Curry won MVP this year. You love to see it, man. I didn't, I didn't think he'd be that good. Yo, what? A rookie of the year gets eight points a game? Come on, 2K, stop it. Yo, Keith Gilmore, he's one of the Gilmore girls from back in the day, or the, the, the son of one of them, I think. And then Ronald Moore is a huge fan of him. Bro, we really, uh, we crushed it. Josh, though, he's all NBA first team. He, instead of Drew, Drew's injured. Dang it, no way a broken right, no, no, stop. A broken right wrist is not four to six weeks, dog. Stop it, man, they're, they're ruining the Sims because of that. It's one week max, so we can't play now for basically most of the playoffs. Tristan Thompson proved to be a great trade for us, um, but he did average you know, 28 during the season. That's so annoying, bro, they screwed us over. It's all good though, hopefully he'll be back for the finals because we will be there. Yes, the, the Hornets and the Suns, both in the conference finals, can they match up one more time? Yes, sir. And he's back. That man Drew's a 98 overall. Josh is a 95. And now it's time to rematch. Who will get the best of them? Game one and two goes to the Suns. And then now it's a 3-1 series lead. Bro, come on, man. 42 points and 39. The Kyrie and LeBron meme all over again. Let's, let's hop in. I mean, this is great basketball, man. I mean, the fact that Curry came to Phoenix out of all teams is wild. And bro, 20 point blowout win. Curry had 29 again. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I don't even know who wins MVP. It's gonna be Drew. So the question is, what's more valuable? Two championships and one MVP or uh, one championship and two MVPs? I think Drew right now, he's on track to have the better career. Here's the thing though, who gets, who gets the bigger bag? Josh signed a three year $101 million deal and then Drew took a $2 million pay cut basically to keep a superstar player like Curry. Obviously I would do that. Uh, yeah, I hope they match up again in the finals, man, because this is it's looking great. Hey, yo, what? Out of all players, D'Angelo Russell wins MVP. In the alternate timeline where he didn't leak, uh, you know, Nick Young and Iggy Azalea, bro, there's no way he wins MVP. Hey, more power to him, I guess. Well, on the bright side, uh, what is the bright side? I don't know. We are the first seed still. That's, that's actually a good thing. We're healthy, you know, always, you know, thank God for your health. Don't ever take it for granted, you know, obviously. Um, and then this dude, Josh, broke his left kneecap. Okay, bro. Okay, honestly, just get a new one. There's no need to miss the whole season. How do you even break a kneecap? Aren't they indestructible? It's like 2K just forgot common sense when it comes to biology. But it's, it's whatever at the end of the day, you know. They act, they're they the eighth seed, the Hornets. We're the first seed in the West. We're going to go all the way. And now, can we win another championship? Yes, sir. This man, Drew, is killing it. He has three championships. It's going to take a lot for Josh to catch up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send to both end of their careers and see how it looks. And fast forward after 20 years pro, both brothers have retired. And let me tell you, bro, they had a great career. Josh Thomas finished with seven championships and four MVPs, which is nuts. That's a lot. And his brother, Drew, finished with six championships and only one MVP. So six championships versus seven. Josh clearly won. He was the better brother. Um, and honestly, bro, I'm not gonna lie, the Hornets, they had uh, some good players during their time, but so did so did Drew. This man had Evan Mobley, he had Steph Curry, like it was pretty stacked. Now obviously they're both gonna make the Hall of Fame. Them two and Joel Embiid, they played almost the same exact amount of games. They averaged, Drew averaged more points, but not that much more. Josh was the better assist guy. I think all around, Josh has him beat out. Um, the MVPs and championship really helped him there. Yeah, Drew actually finished eighth all time in points scored with 35,000. And uh, I don't know where Josh is at. He's probably, yeah, nowhere to be found. When it comes to three pointers, Drew is second most. And when it comes to assist, my boy uh, Josh, this cat's in the way, he finished with uh, ninth all time. So comment down below, do you wanna see a part two to this? And if this video hits a thousand likes, I'm down to do it. Peace.